Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Explanation. So again, this video is continuation of Fortran series. So I think this is my seventh video, and in this video we'll discuss about control statement. Control statement that is about types of loops, okay, or looping in Fortran. So let us start with the first loop. So as we in previous video we saw that we had three loops so one by one we are going to discuss discuss each of these loops so do loop do loop it is used to it is used to repeat execution of a statement for a number of times okay so same statement is repeated for a number of time till a condition is fulfilled okay so if you see the uh, syntax of do loop this is the most used loop so if you see the syntax you can write do and after do we have to give a label okay and after that we have to give a variable name whatever we can you know declare the variable and here we will have initial uh, initial value final value okay and uh, increment we can say or step size also we can say okay so after this inside the body of do loop we will have statements whatever the statements you want to execute and then here whatever label you have given here the label will be there after label you have to write continue okay so it is very easy don't get confused we'll uh, see an example and then you can uh, you know it will be clear for example let me generally write a syntax here for this so suppose uh, we'll write do for this for label we'll write any label for variable suppose i variable initial value let the value of i starts from 1 it goes till 10 and then it is incremented by 1 okay value of i it starts with 1 starts from 1 goes till 10 and each is incremented by 1 okay so here you can write this statement whatever you want to do and then what you can do is here you can write 100 whatever label is there and continue okay so this is do loop and in using this uh, loop uh, if in case you forget to give this step size so it automatically takes the space step size as one let me uh, write one example for do loop so let us see example so let me write the name of program as do loop okay so let us take an integer so generally for looping and all we take i so i do label 100 i equals to 1 sorry 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 we can't write uh, okay fine i equals to 1 i less than equals to 10 it means and i plus plus whatever we did in c okay so it is incremented by 1 so in inside this uh, do statement let me simply print hello world okay so after this what i told you you have to give the label here and write continue okay and then end of the program so what happens this hello world is printed 10 times here fine so this you can see as a example of do loop okay so let me go to another loop so uh, all the examples of this you know this uh, loop and every question i'll be solving last of the video that is one last video i'll make where i'll up, uh, upload all the questions okay Next, uh, second number loop is do while loop. Okay, again the same definition here do while loop is used, it is used to execute a set of instruction till a uh, condition is true or you can write instead of till you can write while because it is while loop so do, uh, while the condition is uh, fulfilled or it is true okay so if you write the syntax 
of this so here the syntax will be do while okay inside this there will be condition whatever condition you want to put and then the statement and in do this is one syntax or you can also write a syntax similar to previous one that is do and here we write the label and while okay and then the condition whatever is there okay so here it will be statement and here what we will do label and continue fine so any of these two syntax you can use so if you want use this syntax it's very easy so let me solve a program using this uh, do while loop so the program is let me write the name of program is program do while fine so let me take one integer again as i uh, suppose if you want to print print natural number okay program to print the natural number so int uh, i let us initialize the value of i as 0 and do while so till what you want to print i is less than okay the writing has become worse do while i is dot lt which means less than less than 20 okay it means that do repeat the loop while the value of i is less than 20 i equals to i plus 1 and what we are going to do we are going to print the value of i finally we can in our do loop here and we can in our program here okay so here you can see while the value of i is less than 20 so value of i is 0 while the uh, value of i is less than 20 we are going to increase the value of i so initially uh, value of i is 0 so 0 plus 1 then 1 is printed again it goes to the loop till the condition is not uh, fulfilled it, the loop is, loop is repeated so from 1 to 20 the value is printed here ok so let's go to another loop that is do until ok so we have another loop called do until So it's uh, similar to I think uh, you know the previous one was similar to while loop the condition was in uh, you know uh, starting only but if the condition is if the termination criteria is at end instead of the beginning of loop so it is called uh, do until loop okay so I hope you understand the difference do until loop so do until loop is it is a loop in which termination criteria is at the end of loop okay instead of beginning it is called it is called do until okay so if you remember it is very similar to do while loop in uh, C programming so let's go to the syntax so the syntax will be do and the statement is there and after that we have until and then the condition okay after that uh, let us solve a question so that uh, we'll understand this. This is the syntax. I think it's very simple syntax. Do a statement until the condition is fulfilled. Okay, so let us uh, solve a question for this do until loop. So the question is write a program. Question is write a program to read a 
number until user enters zero finally count the entered numbers and find their sum i think this question we have already done in c so what have what you have to do is the user enters a number for example 1 then it enters 2 6 5 8 3 the moment it enters 0 it means that it will count the number of number 1 2 3 4 5 so five numbers we have entered and then it will find the sum of all the numbers okay i hope you got this uh, question so let's write the program so let's write the name of program program do until let us uh, um, you know define integers so n for number and for sum and for count yeah we have to do three things so three numbers are taken let's initialize the value of sum equals to 0 count equals to 0 okay then we'll go to uh, do loop okay so here do what we'll do is uh we have to continue this loop yeah so i think in previous uh, syntax we did a mistake after do we have to give a label because after in that label we have to go and continue this loop otherwise this loop will not be continue yeah so we have to write a label and then we have to continue till that label okay so let me do this question after that you understand so let us do and go to till that label so inside this do loop i'm going to write star star enter number okay then we are going to read this uh, number i think n is the number yeah number next is let's go to the condition if n is dot not equals to 0 yeah then till it is not equals to 0 we are going to find the sum equals to sum plus n and also we are going to increase the value of counter by 1 okay so both the conditions of the questions are fulfilled and we'll in this if loop till the value is not equals to 0 okay we are going to do this this condition and also we are going to use the loop so until n is not equals to 0 okay so until the value of n is not equals to 0 this thing is going to happen and this condition is for finding the sum and the count okay so let's go to the label and we'll continue this after that we'll print the value of sum and count so just go and print the value of sum and count okay so in exam if any question is asked okay they don't they will not tell you to use this do while loop or do loop or do until loop it's your wish to use any loop so very simple you can use do loop for any program because all three loops are doing the same work so this do until loop is very rarely used it is not used that much time so you can skip this loop or just uh, you know Uh, see this loop, but while using, you can use the other to do that is do while loop or do loop. Fine. So I think uh, that's all. Uh, okay. So one last thing is left here that is nested uh, loop. Yeah, nested loop. So this thing was not a part of the type. Still nested do loop. So we know that uh, nested loop is generally used for you know multiplication and all printing the multiplication. So let us uh, do this multiplication only, multiplication table only. Okay. So display the multiplication table. So program loop. Let us take uh, integer variable i j. Okay. We know for nested loop we'll need uh, two variables and a p variable for product because we are going to do the multiplication table. So do i equals to five. 
till 10 we'll find the multiplication table from 5 to 10 okay so 5 till 10 and the value is incremented by 1 and we'll write that the multiplication table of multiplication table okay so if you don't want you can skip this next inside this i loop we'll have another loop that is j loop so j equals to 1 to 10 incremented by 1 and in finally inside this loop we'll have p equals to i into j finally we are going to print the value of p okay so we'll end do here for this two and again we'll end do which is for this two this two finally we'll end the program okay so this is the outer loop this is the inner loop fine so that's all for looping uh, i'll solve the question of this uh, loop statements uh, later uh, i mean after um, after this video i'm going to make a video on array okay so i'll finish array so after array our fortran part will be finished so after this uh, video of array i'll be uploading one more video where i'll be solving questions from all the topics okay so i'll solve the questions don't worry and uh, till then stay safe and thank you